The North Dakota hockey team's gearing up for their first series of 2024, and they get a host on their home ice. While their two-game tilt with the Alaska Nanooks will mark the official start to the second half of the season, this will be their second weekend in the Ralph after their exhibition loss to the U.S. Under-18 team. UND looking to make some tweaks after falling in overtime to the Under-18s, a game which saw an unfortunate trend continue. That marked their fourth consecutive overtime contest, going back to their December 2nd game against Denver and their series against Colorado. Colorado College. Not only did all of those games go to an extra period, they all ended in losses for UND. North Dakota has actually only lost two games in regulation this season. Now they enter the second half of the season with a chip on their shoulder. Head coach Bradbury says they have something to prove this weekend. You know, when that puck drops, man, it's it's for keeps. Like, you know, we're, we're out to prove something special here, that we do have a very good team and a, that we are going to be a, a team in contention at the end of the year. And I think it's one of those things where you can have as much respect as you want, and we do, and they, they do for us. But at the end of the day, like, we, we want to get our game back going again here. And we want to get the second half like how we started the first half here. Uh, so, again, Friday night, it's for keeps. The Nanooks traveling down from the Golden Heart City of Fairbanks, Alaska, are 10 at 7 and 1 on the season, coming off of a third place finish in the Great Lakes Invitational Tournament. It's the first game between these two teams since 2012, a game the Nanooks won up in the Carlson Center. And sticking to the ice, the World Juniors Tournament continues over in Sweden. Team USA is going to be playing for a gold medal. The U.S. team defeating Finland 3-2 in this semifinal contest earlier today, rallying back to punch their ticket to the big stage. They'll now play the host country for the IAHF World Juniors Crown tomorrow at 12.30 p.m. our time. Bemidji State defenseman Eric Polkamp is a member of that World Junior team looking to bring a gold medal back with them to the Beavers. Good to see. Uh, less good to see the extended forecast summer. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of single digit highs, wind chills, sub zero by double digits, but it's not going to last through the rest of this winter. In fact, the extended outlook from the Climate Prediction Center, we talked about this a little bit earlier, January, February through March, still favoring above average temperatures because we are still seeing strong El Nino conditions, which on average leads to increased chances for above average temperatures throughout the winter months here in our neck of the woods. So this is going to continue through the rest of the winter, not saying we won't have any more cold snaps like the one upcoming, but there's a better chance that we're going to see mild stretches of weather, weather like what we have. I'm just going to block out that bottom part. One of the El Nino fans this winter oh, yeah. liked our weather so far. Thanks, Summer. Thanks for joining us.